ready, are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? All right, welcome into week two, episode two of Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Notes, and I'm joined each and every week by the true talent on this show, the man playing the keys over there all the way in England, Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, Andy? I'm good, thanks, Matt. How are you? Uh, I'm not bad, just getting through the heat like our three competitors today. How are, yeah. How's everything over in England? Definitely not as hot, <laughs> but no, we've had, a, we've had a nice time of it. It's been it's been good. Nice uh you know, sometimes we enjoy the rain, so it's all good. <laughs> it's very English of you. Yeah. It's very English of you. Well, last week's show was a success overall, but those two, uh, we we made it too easy for them. We made it just a little too easy for them. Yeah, we and, did speculate as much, but uh, we didn't think it would be, yeah. It, quite that it, easy. It was very, yeah, not, not to par with what we expected with regard to how much music would be played, but absolutely fine. I got to dabble a little bit on the piano. Well, we'll hopefully go again. Week, we 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 didn't make it impossible. You know what I mean? That's not our goal. We don't want to make it so difficult that it, no, no one can guess. But we, you know, maybe uh, obscured the context clues a little bit more so they couldn't just guess outright before they hear the damn song, um, which is the point of the show. And uh, it's our fault, uh, for namely for not having made the game good enough. But I think this <laughs> week we are ready to roll. So uh, two things. One, we should give a shout out to Luke Skinner, who did the artwork for the show. Absolutely, um, yeah. If if anybody out there wants a uh, great graphic design work at Luke Skinner, um, L U K E S K I N N E R, uh, hit him up. Awesome to work with. Tons of great ideas. Can't highly, more highly recommend him. Uh, one of the best I've ever worked with as far as graphic design. And uh, thankfully, somebody you put me in touch with. Yeah, I, I use him exclusively. Uh, he's excellent. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad we took him on. And uh, have we got a name for our little character from the? Uh... No, from the intro, we should no. Come up with. We should well, come up with. yeah, we really should come, or maybe someone can come up with it. And if <laughs> I would love a little sculpture of him, like back oh, there, that would 3D, be cool. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, a little uh, in little, due time, in maybe due a, time. yeah, maybe a little knitted version would be cool. All right, and then, um, just as a heads up, so what we're going to do, um, we, you know, we're going to have guests in each week, but we're also going to open it up eventually to those that have enjoyed the show and want to participate. So the way we're going to do it is. For every person that retweets and likes the tweet that I put out, I'll start putting your name into a spreadsheet. If you do it every week, then your name gets added in every week. And eventually we'll draw two names at random. So if your name is in there six times, you just increased your chances overall. And uh, somewhere down the line, you know, maybe a month, month and a half, something like that from now, we will uh, have two random fans on to compete, just kind of open it up, change, you know, get a, get a sense of who out there is actually listening and watching and paying attention and enjoying the show. Uh, so yeah, just retweet and like the tweet and I'll start adding your name to a list, but I think I'm ready to get this ball rolling. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Let's do it. All right. On today's show, uh, we have three gentlemen from a, a namesake show. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the show, where it comes from. I don't know what wanger means outside of, the inference of of something you know dirtier i guess yeah i remember i remember the inception of the oh, name actually you? yeah 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 i do they can uh, they can you know they can talk to it a bit better but yeah i remember illuminate, that moment illuminate us as to what it yeah. was yeah. um well it can't be because they're three pricks because they're not and no. uh you would hope it'd be something like that it's just not the case but two of the three uh apparently think that or thought that i hated them for the longest time it doesn't make any fucking sense no to way me. We had to have, yeah, a sit down, apparently, after all these years of me bringing them Christmas gifts and them thinking I hated them with a passion. Doesn't make any sense. But that's I'm happy. crazy. I, I have a fact. I have a fact. Three of the three of them didn't know who the hell I was. So <laughs> <laughs> that's where we are. Well, at the same time, they're I don't know if I'd rather you. them think I hated them. <laughs> uh, well, let's bring them in. They, they are from the Wanger Show, Christian Ruby. Hey. Cody Hall, howdy, and Mr. Brian Perez. How are we, gentlemen? Hello, doing good, fantastic. Happy to be here for the the more difficult questions as opposed to last week. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, they're not more difficult. We just obscured the context clues. Uh, sure, Riley and Draco managed to guess several of them without hearing the song. Okay. What was the context clue? Uh, one was um, Batman. 
<laughs> no, it's like a, a a feather floats on the wind. Oh, okay. or it's gum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Okay. But we actually didn't we change that? No, we changed that one to shit happens. <laughs> they still got it. <laughs> they still got it. Originally, it was a feather on the wind. We were like, shit happened. And Riley was like, Riley, you're like, you son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to hear the damn song. <laughs> Are we gonna get your? We gonna get your snatch impression every week, Matt? My snatch impression? Probably yeah. not. No. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to go back and watch that one, yeah, please do. Please do. It's me doing. Andre Cohen's face is hilarious. Uh, so where does Wangers come from? Uh, that, I mean, pretty much just, uh, back in the day, Schmoes, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I, I heard the term from a work buddy, uh, outside of Schmoes and he called me a wanger one day. I was like, wanger. He's like, yeah, dude, you're a freaking wanger. I was like, I like that word. And so I, first time we came back for Schmoes after a long time, I came up to Cody. I was like, I'm using this word today. Multiple and then, times. He said this multiple yeah. times. He's like, Cody, I'm, I'm going to say wanger on the show. He said it <laughs> three times. <laughs> Yeah, before we started the actual program. Yeah, yeah. yeah Matt, Matt made a face like normally when you hear the word wanger, you're not like, I like that word. Let me use it. <laughs> no, let me make that my brand. My first thought was yeah. like, is this offensive somewhere? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Yeah. Use that? Yes. Uh, yes, without knowing. Yes, the answer yeah. to that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it just it just gradually became something like. Uh, I, I like to think of it as like a, a good burger when he's like, I'm a dude, she's dude, we're all dudes. Hey, so like, I'm a, I'm a wanger, you're a wanger, we're all wangers. Hey, it's just a, a collective thing that we can all be together. It doesn't have to be specifically a dick, you know? Uh, <laughs> I would hope not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, just, I remember you guys, you guys had a table in the studio and they, they would refer to it as the wangers table. You were all sat there. Yeah, so that's, that's mm -hmm. What I was referring to it when yeah. I when I said I knew where it came from, it was that I remember, but I didn't realize I had uh, an introduction earlier. But yeah, a lot of build up to that. Yeah, yeah. He planned the whole thing out. He was waiting a was whole so week excited. for that. It sounds then, like some stoner just made up a word. You went, hell yeah, that's where it's at, right there. Wanger, <laughs> I am a wanger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he gave you no context as to what that meant in his world. No, uh, -uh. he was just like, uh, you're just a wanger, dude. I was like, what? Okay, I like that. So now uh, every holiday, uh, me, Cody, and Brian have to explain what a wanger is to our family members. So it's been yeah. fun. Yeah. How's, your, how's your wanger show doing? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Just make up some movie facts. Oh, that yeah. was actually the original title of a yeah. Wookiee. <laughs> and uh, we just decided to call ourselves wangers. And they'd be yeah. like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And yeah. just yeah. Lie. they'll never know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we ready to jump into uh, Settle the Score. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. All right. The first one is just pick a number round. Uh, and what it'll be is uh, Andy will play the song. First one to buzz in with your name, uh, you can guess. If if that individual gets it wrong, it is still open to the other two of you. Each question is worth 10 points. And then after that, there is a bonus question. And we will come to that when we get to it. Uh, randomly was uh, chosen uh, Cody off air. And he gets to go first. Which number would you like to start with? One through five, Cody Hall. Matt, I think I'm going to go with number four. Number four oh, sounds surprising. like a good number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. It really felt right this good first number. time saying it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Nice. Uh, your context clue for number four is I'm the conductor now. I'm the conductor now. Andy, okay. take us away. Cody? Cody. I'm just going to go uh, Polar Express. That is correct. Oh! Yeah. Oh. 10 points to Cody Hall. I think that was the most difficult of the first round. Yeah, nice. Thinking Unstoppable because I kept thinking, uh, is it Unstoppable? What's the uh, train movie? That's yeah, a train yeah. film. Yeah, 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 yeah train yeah. movie. That yeah. is Unstoppable. Um, all right, now, Cody, <clears throat> next little segment for the bonus question is what I like to call, are you going to be a dick or not? Now, okay. there's a bonus question. I can You can answer it solo, but... You either win five points or you will lose five points, or you can open it up to your competitors. No one will lose any points, but they do have the opportunity to gain on you. Uh, and you know, you won't be you won't be 10 points out ahead. So it's your choice. Do you want to go solo or would you like to open it up to everyone? Um, I, I'm not gonna be a wanger today. I'm gonna let the other wangers in. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let them play Perfect. along. Here. Group yeah. wanger, team wanger. Yeah. <laughs> team wanger. Oh, yeah. We should all get shirts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bonus question is this. 
Robert Zemeckis has directed three motion capture films, including this one. Name one other. Cody. Cody. Beowulf. Beowulf is correct. Oh, Cody. Nice. Very nice. And Thank you. Thank you, guys. You. And then The yeah. Christmas Carol was the third. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cody, you still have control. What random number, one, two, three, or five, <laughs> would you like? Oh, man. I think I'm going to go with like two. Let's go with two this time. Number two. All right. Your contact, context clue, rather, is he's a Scottish orphan. He's a Scottish orphan. Andy, play that sweet music. Cody. Just gonna go with Braveheart because Scottish. That is incorrect. Ah. <clears throat> uh, would uh, do you guys? Uh, I'm about to hit the chorus. If anyone wants to, do we yeah, get to keep going? Go ahead, Great. Chorus. Okay, you're out there, Cody. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh -oh. Hate you both. Uh, oh, oh, five. Brian. Brian. Skyfall. That is correct. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Nicely done. Yeah, yeah we Skyfall. find out in that movie that he's a fucking Scottish orphan. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Brian. I thought I was gonna now. have to start singing that one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh <laughs> question to you then, Brian, is <clears throat> on the bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? I do not. I assume it's uh, James Bond related. I'm not the biggest James Bond fan, so I'll open it up to everyone. Okay. Um, then everybody, your question is this. This man's production company has produced every Bond movie except two. Hint, think of a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give it to you if you just get the vegetable. <laughs> it's at the start of every Bond movie. Oh. What's his freaking name? Okay. Uh, 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 Cody. Cody. Is it Barbara Broccoli? Someone. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you the broccoli. Ah. I'll give you the It's Albert Broccoli. Oh, Albert. Okay. <laughs> Barbara. All right. Whatever. <laughs> well, I think you know he passed away a long time ago, so maybe yeah. Babs took over and is sure. producing for the past thirty years. <laughs> I don't know, but it is Albert uh, Albert R. Broccoli Productions. Okay. And um, the title card be before every movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the logo is a piece of broccoli. It's just, it's <laughs> yeah. I wish. Yeah. I wish they leaned into it that hard. Just embrace it, man. Yeah, the broccoli with a gun. Fire. <laughs> Shoot out the broccoli instead of a bull. Yeah. Um, well, Brian, you got that question right. Yeah. So you have your choice. We have uh, three left: one, three, and five. What number would you like? You know, I'm. I like to be number one, so I'll go with number one. <laughs> All right, number one. Your context clue is Mark Wahlberg is lifelong friends with a celebrity. Mark Wahlberg is lifelong friends with a celebrity. Christian. Oh, Christian. Ted. Yep. Son of a bitch. Christian yep. got it. Yep. <laughs> Damn, I, I always just said lifelong. Go ahead and play it a little, Andy, since you, yeah, you know, learn the damn yeah, thing. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm to learn the song. Poor Andy. You got a double who brings you trouble. You know you're better without me. Everybody needs a best friend. I'm happy in those. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful work. Love it. Damn it. That was that was two context clues wedged together because I didn't think any of them were. I thought they were all <laughs> from me. Apparently <laughs> not. Apparently like Boogie not. Nights. His friend is his giant wanger. <laughs> <laughs> all right christian uh do you want to be a dick or not my buddies haven't been dicks today i won't be a dick either let's all play together good for you uh all right your bonus question is in what stadium did the climactic chase end with ted being torn in half cody cody fenway park 
Fenway Park is correct. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, Very nice. oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, Christian, you got that? Yes. So you have numbers three and five to choose from. What would you like? Let's pick number three, my lord. Number three. All right. Your context clue is death becomes him. Death becomes him. Andy, go ahead and play that bad boy. Anything from the three of you. I know it. I know the song. I'm just trying to. I don't know the song. I'm trying to think. Of the words. Well, Andy, do you know the words? We can give them a little. Yeah, word, yeah. Can we? It's nice and high. Go for it. Okay. To a melody played in the strings of our souls and the rhythm that rattled us down to the bone. Our love for each other will live on forever. In every beat of my proud Cody, Arizona. Cody, Coco, Coco is correct. Oh, Ryan, we're Mexican. We should have fucked. No, <laughs> oh, right. movie. I should probably right. watch that movie. Oh, you did didn't I put that in there because I had two Latinos on the show. You're goddamn right. I did. You're goddamn <laughs> goddamn right. allowed to get that right. Oh, no, this is oh. you would have sang it in Spanish, then I maybe would have gotten it. Of course. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, sure. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> the next time, yeah, Andy, play in Spanish. You know what I mean? Get those... I did try. I did try to put a little, a little something on Corazon. A Lipso type of, uh... yeah. Uh, Corazon. Yeah. Just lost I tried. Lost um, all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the bonus question time. What would you like to do, Cody? Yeah, we'll let him in. We'll probably we'll let him in. Dick. Yeah, we'll, we'll dick. Yeah. Okay. Um, what on your bonus question? What is the name of Miguel's dog? It is synonymous with the inferno and a journey through hell. Oh, Christian. Brian. Christian. Dante. Dante, it is. Nice. Yeah. I don't know why that made Cody laugh. Just <laughs> <Such, laughs> is that probably a big fan of 14th century poetry? Such, such a haunting description of a nice dog, you know. <laughs> His name is Dante. <laughs> Dante's Inferno. The Hellfire. Oh, okay. That's what it's about. The rings of hell. A journey through the oh, bowels yeah. of hell. Find his wife. It's good stuff. Yeah. Um, all right. So Cody got that right. Although that was so we only have one left in this round. Mm. And let's see. Trying to think which which context clue Ooh. is going to be. You know, I'm going to go with that one. All right. So your context clue in this final one is the original Tiger King. The <laughs> original Tiger King. Okay. Go ahead, Andy. Play that tune. Okay. Sorry, I was too enthralled with the Tiger King reference. Here we go. <laughs> Christian, uh, the Hangover, the Hangover, yeah. nice. nice, oh, great, oh, great concept, Bill, Bill that's Colin. great. <laughs> it was either that or Tiger Punch, but I thought the punch might give it away a little too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, all right, last one, bonus question. What are we doing, Christian? Be a dick. Be a dick. I don't want to lose points though. Well, right no. now, I'll give you the scores just to give you. Okay. You have twenty-five, Christian. Mm -hmm. Brian has 10. Cody has 35. Mm. Let us play. Come on. Let us play. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be a dick. Screw him. <laughs> let him be a dick. <laughs> I'm gonna All right. It. I'm going to regret this. Okay, Christian. The question that is solely for you is the guys in the hangover obviously stole Mike Tyson's tiger, but on the security footage from Tyson's house, they watched themselves put the animal in what type of car? A taxi. That is incorrect. No. Can we answer? Well, you can just for the hell of it, but no, you oh. don't get any points. It's a cop car, right? It is oh, a cop car. Man. Right. Uh, you can answer too quickly. Uh, all right. Well, you just dropped down to 20. So it is Christian with 20, Brian with 10, and Cody out in the lead with 35. All right. Uh, Damn it. Uh, it's all right, though. It's, look, trust me, it's anybody's game, especially to that final round where the points can escalate. Okay. Um, 
So in this one, it's called Five Second Songs. If someone guesses it on the first five-second snippet, you get 10 points. If that person gets it wrong, the other two can choose to guess then, or they can wait to hear the other five seconds, mm -hmm. but then it's only worth five points. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? And we can't lose points, right? No. There are no, yeah. There, you can't lose any more points in the game. That was just in that first round. All right. Uh, basically penalizing you if you wanted to be a dick or not. <laughs> so, Brian, you're in last place. We'll go ahead and give you a choice. What number do you want to start with? One through five. Uh, again, I'll go with number one. Number one, it is. All right. Your context clue for this is a family possessed. A family possessed. Andy, you ready with that five seconds? Mm -hmm. Give it to us, baby. Okay, I apologize for this impression. It's okay. all right. Daylight come and me want to go home. Christian. Christian. Beetlejuice. Nice. Beetlejuice is correct. Nice. That's good. That's go. good. No, that was good. That was a good impression. Thank you. Yeah, that yeah, the 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 realism of the impression wasn't what I was apologizing for, really. But <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You could pass for <coughs> Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Into competitions. It could have gone much <laughs> yeah. worse. I think it went just fine. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So number one is gone. Christian, you got that right. Two, three, four, or five. What would you like? Let's go with number five. Number five. <clears throat> all right. Once again, you're gonna get a five second snippet. And then it cuts off after that point. Your context clue for number five is Canadians are so crass. Canadians are so crass. Give it to us, Andy. Times have changed. Our kids are getting worse. Five, four, oh, three. Christian. Christian. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. That is correct. Nice. nice. Very good. That's great. great pull. Pull. Yeah. Wow. What was Very the next good. five second uh, chunk? Uh, you're do here goes. Um, Times have changed. Our kids are getting worse. They won't obey their parents. They just want to fight and curse. Should we blame the government or blame society? All right. So that was fun that, to learn that one. That was five. So Christian has taken the lead at this point. Oh, crap. All right. 40 oh. to 35 to Brian's 10. Uh, but Brian, I got a good feeling about you, buddy. I got a good <laughs> Thank feeling. You. Sorry, I can't um, South Park bigger, longer, and uncut. <clears throat> uh, Christian, what do you want? Two, three, or four? Let's go three. Three it is. Your context clue in number three is by the end of this movie, that Pratt was in Dallas. By the end of this movie, that Pratt was in Dallas. Give it to us, Andy. Cody. Cody. That is Jurassic World. You better got that, Cody. <laughs> that is correct. We put in Coco for the two of them. We put in Jurassic <laughs> World for you. All right. So... Cody just took the lead back <clears> with <throat> me and Brian. I got a good feeling, my friend. <laughs> Doing great, yeah. Brian. I was trying to think. Like, oh, I just Dallas. got Dallas. Yeah. Oh, he was in Bryce Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That one was the, you know, Andy came up with that one. I love that context. <clears throat> that Pratt was in Dallas, which Pratt has no meeting here in the States unless you know English slang. So, um, all right. So, Cody, you got that number two or number four? What would you like? Go with number four, Matt. Number four. Your context clue, gentlemen, is T for three. T for three. Let's hear that first five seconds, Andy. Uh, Anybody? No. Five, four, three. Two, one. All right. The next after this five seconds, the question is now worth five points instead of ten. Go ahead and do the next five, Andy. Okay. A very merry on birthday to you, to you. Oh my God! Hold on. I know. I've heard that. I've heard. Ah, oh, crap. Don't let my piano five, turn off. Four. <laughs> come on, Brian. Three. I feel like it's a classic, but I don't. I don't know. Two, one. Any guesses? I'm so mad at myself. <gasps> Uh, Christian, sorry, Christian sorry. almost has it. Uh, I know, but <coughs> unfortunately, time is up, which it's Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Mary, Mary on oh, birthday. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> They were all disappointed with that. Fine, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the music was great, though, Andy. You did great. Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. Okay. Thank you. That. Yeah, it was really you great. son of a bitch. I wrote the clue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, now I get it. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. cool. Oh, thanks, guys. Fake praise is still good to me. So. <laughs> uh, the final context clue for number two and your final question of this round is there's there's nothing quite like an afternoon uh, afternoon parade there's nothing quite like an afternoon parade andy give us that five first five seconds please we'll shake brian. it up babe brian oh, animal house oh that is incorrect christian christian ferris bueller's day off that is correct nice yeah. oh yeah. very good john nice. yeah I would honestly, I might just give you one point, Brian, for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Not Eleven points. Come on, they have a parade in Animal House. Yeah, uh, they do. They do. <laughs> I don't remember them playing Twist and Shout. But <laughs> no, 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 they definitely don't play that. Um, all right, well, that is round two, five seconds. Songs. Nice. Christian is overtaking the lead at fifty points. Cody has forty-five, and Brian has eleven. <laughs> he gave him that point, huh? point. I gave him that point. Why not? Maybe it makes the difference in the end. I don't know, but I'm trying to encourage you, Brian. I got to at least guess. You can't can't yeah. lose any points. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, all right. So we have five questions in the final round. This is the betting round. Mm -hmm. So the person in the lead, which is Christian, um, you'll make a random number choice once again. And then I will give all of you a context clue. And Christian, you will start the bidding at how many notes you think you can guess it in. And then we'll go around the board. The way it looks on mine, it goes uh, Christian, Brian, Cody. So we'll go in that order. That's just the way it comes up on StreamYard. I don't know why. Um, so um, Christian will bet first. Then we'll go over to Brian. And basically, it's Christian says, I can name it in 10 notes. Brian says, I can name it nine. Or he tells Christian to name it. And then it goes to Cody. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We just keep going, but I will walk you guys through it as we go. Christian, one through five, which number would you like? Let's go. Let's go four. Number four. All right. Your context clue for this is I can't believe it. I was on TV. I, I can't believe it. I was on TV. I say zero notes. Well, you got to start with three. That oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Three <clears throat> notes. Then. Christian is going to say three notes. Brian, it goes to you. You can either say two notes, one note, zero, or tell him to name that tune. What would you like to do? Can I get that uh, line reading again? You sure can. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I was on TV. If I know it, can I chime in? Not yet. No. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, That's I would the rules say, of this final round. Yeah. Right, name Brian, that. Name that. All right, in zero, you would get 25 points if you get this in zero. So, Christian, what's your guess? For the movie? Yep. Uh, Monsters, Inc. That it is. Wow. Very good. Very good. I wouldn't have gotten <laughs> go ahead and Go ahead and play that as I tally the damn score. messed up for copyright reasons thank you <laughs> <laughs> love it and technically i should have had your name in three because that's the rules but uh i already awarded you the 25 points so there we go son of a bitch uh <laughs> all right well you got control of the board okay and number four is off so one two three or five let's go five all right number <laughs> five couldn't come up with a good context clue on this one. Trust me. I wrote mm -hmm. out so many and I didn't even put them all on the page. So I'm going to go with this one. You got the bathroom, buddy. You got the electric camera. You got the mega juicer. It's a, <laughs> I got fantastic ideas for a fantastic world. Mm. So Christian, you would start the bidding on this one. Okay. Minimum is three, but you can go as high as any number of notes you would like. 
Uh, let's go five notes. Five notes. Brian, do you want to do it in four notes or tell him to name that tune? Or you go three, two, one, zero, whatever you'd like. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll name it. Have Christian name it. All right. You got five notes to yeah. name this tune. Go can for I, it. Can name. I hear the context one more time? Uh, no. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it for once. Okay, okay. Ready? Yep. Can I hear that one more time? Yeah. Hey, hey, go for it. Hmm. I got it. Uh, Inspector Gadget? That is oh, incorrect. That's a good guess. Uh, Go ahead and keep yeah. playing, Andy. See if these other two. You guys can't win any points, but maybe you okay. can guess it. I feel Nothing. stupid. Yeah, what the hell is that? That's good. All right, no, Christian, no what is it? It's Gremlins. It is Gremlins. Oh. Yeah. That, the context it came in, that makes so much more sense now. Trust uh. me, I did <laughs> nothing. I, I wrote down who knew after midnight at Christmas time would be scary, and you're like, that it seems like you'd be able to get it. From that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, big, they're big fans of Snow White. I don't know if that's giving it away. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Didn't think of that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You could have brought Joe Dante back. You could have brought Dante back into it. Uh, I, I was going to say his name is Cantonese for devil, but he knows that. thank you, Wikipedia. I didn't know that until then because I was clutching at straws and I was like, "Oh, well, that's even yeah." Wonderful. That's that's a good name. directed by Coco's dog would have been a good of one, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, well, oh, we'll well. Do callbacks in future shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, no points were awarded, and we'll go ahead and move it around because. Cody hasn't been able to play at all. So, Cody, you can have choice then. Um, okay. You have numbers one, two, or three. What would you like? Let's go with two, Matt. Let's go with two. Two. Okay. Your context clue for this is a portal in space. A portal in space. How many notes would you like to start the bidding with Cody? And it'll go to Christian after this. I'll go with three. Three. He's going the minimum bid of three I notes. I Christian. I might know it. Um, you can say two notes, one, zero, or tell him to name that tune. Let's go two notes. Two notes to Christian. All right, Brian, over to you. One note, zero, or tell him to name it. Name it. In two notes. All right. You got to name this in two notes. Okay. I don't know Indeed. if there's any point in switching my camera. There's so probably not. My face <laughs> if I play. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this didn't go well. Okay. Christian, Christian you, it's yours. You don't have to say your name. You're the only oh, one guessing oh, right now. Um, it's either one or two. Uh, Interstellar. That is incorrect. That's why it was my guess, yeah. Go ahead and play some more. See see if Brian or Cody can get it just for shits and giggles. Yeah, yeah. I'll switch over now. Oh. That's, uh, is that Guardians? <laughs> no. Brian, do you want to take a stab at it? I know this. Sounds like Star Wars. Oh, it's Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, I was yeah, close. Christian I wasn't worthy it. of giggles. Okay, I was close. Because I was thinking of a literal portal in space, not yeah. on like a specific planet. Because the other one I was going to say was Event Horizon. Mm. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Although you don't ever technically see the portal, I guess. You see the machine. Yeah, they go like through it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's good, though. Yeah. yeah. Should more literally. The other context clue that I was going to go with is uh, you want to nuke new york city and i figured mm. that's probably too much <laughs> uh and that's a peek behind the curtain 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, uh, Cody, we'll start with you again since nobody got that. Yeah. You have your choice of number one or number three. What would you like? Let's go with three. All right. Your context clue for this is the carpenter missed a spot. The carpenter missed a spot. How many notes would you like, Cody? Minimum is three, but you can guess as, or you can start anywhere you like above three. I'll go with five. Five mm -hmm. notes from Cody. Christian, do you four notes or less or tell him to name it? Four. Four from Christian. Brian, three notes or tell him to name it? Uh, let's go three. Let's get this game going. Good for you, Ryan. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna twist your arm on that. Uh, three notes. Three notes from Brian. Cody, two, one, zero, or tell Brian to name it. Can Cody do it? I mean, I want him to name it, but I want Andy to play music too. Um, I'll go. I'll go two. He's going two notes to Cody Hall. Yeah. Christian, one note, zero notes. Or tell him to name that tune. Name that tune. Name that tune. You got two notes. Good <laughs> fucking luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Andy, go ahead and play those two notes. Okay, if I can. <sighs> oh, I, I, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Damn it. Two notes. Would you like them again since there's only sure. two notes? Sure, yeah. Let's hear that again. I think I know that. Oh, is it Halloween? Yeah. It, it is not Halloween. Oh, no. uh, Brian, Halloween's you, you might have a guess. What do you think it is? On, I was going to say the thing. Uh, Halloween's two notes would have been here for context. Uh, so it's uh, the opposite of what yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and give go ahead and give it to them. See if they can get it. Test. Is it the fog? What'd you say? The fog? It is the fog. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. I was, I initially thought Passion of the Christ. I was thinking, I was thinking Jesus as a carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping the, the stress on mist yeah. might uh, help give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, your final one, Brian, we'll start with you this time since you haven't had the opportunity. <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Your context clue is in 2006, you were inclined to stay quiet. Mm. In 2006, you were inclined to stay quiet. Yeah. Minimum is you can start with three notes, but you can say as many as you like. How many notes would you like to bet? I'll go six notes. Six notes over to Cody Hall. Five or less, or tell him to name it. Uh, let's let's go with four. Four notes. Four. All right, Christian, over to you. Three notes or less, or tell him to name it in four. <clears throat> name it in four. Name it in four. All right. All right, Andy, are you ready to play this bad boy? Our final oh, yeah. song. Well, no problem. All right. Uh, go ahead and play. I'm just gonna, there's some left-handed padding that doesn't count as your four notes. So just, okay. to, it's just to balance out a little bit. Bah. Well, that, that didn't help. Um, it was beautifully played though, Andy. Um, in 2006, you were inclined to stay quiet. The Omen? I don't know. But, <laughs> it's, it's, honestly, you might as well stab in the dark, take yeah. the shot. That is yeah. incorrect. Andy, you want to play some more and see if these other two get it? Yeah, I got it, yeah.
They got nothing. It's my been playing it badly. What lies beneath? That's no, that's earlier. Than that. <clears throat> oh, that's a good channel. No, it was uh, <clears throat> Silent Hill. Oh wow! Yeah. You were inclined to stay quiet. I was trying to think of that. I was thinking, there's yeah, a movie you're... with a mountain. I, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of all. Of we've Chris we've put movies. horror in this. Yeah, mm. I, literally, uh, I literally watched that movie two days ago. Ah, uh, well, it didn't I stick. I can tell you that right now. It did <laughs> not stick for you. But it doesn't matter, Christian. You won. Whoa. All right, congrats. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. you know, Brian, hell of a showing. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. <laughs> well, you said on the outside when you were like, I'm not going to be good at this, but I'll, I'll happily play, which is exactly the attitude we want. You're smiling and enjoying yourself the whole time. So that's all we want. Yeah, I realize I should pay attention to more scores and soundtracks on movies. <laughs> well, some people can guess it, you know, straight away, and others, so you got to hear more of it. That's fine. You know, to each their own. Yeah. Um, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining Woo. us on episode two. Of course. Uh, <clears throat> anything you guys want to plug before we get out of here? Ah, uh, you can just subscribe to our channel, Amateur Hour Films. Uh, we do podcasts. We've been since the pandemic has been going on. We've been streaming three times a week, video games, commentaries, and uh, we do short films when there isn't a pandemic uh, and other sketches and stuff. So you guys can go and check that out if you want. Yeah, oh, we're all so doing the same thing. So that yeah, yeah that's that, that that's, counts yeah. for all three of us. We're all so the that, same. Yeah, plug. the Wanger Show. We're all the iTunes, same Wanger. Yeah, and podcast. For those uh, out there watching, I've already been scheduled for episode 344 on the Wanger. <laughs> so I can't wait. I'm already excited. Uh, shit's happening. So uh, Stay well, congratulations to uh, Christian. Um, I hope you guys had fun. That I did. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah. yeah, this was great. I love this concept. It's, it's so much fun. Uh, great. Yeah, Brian, why don't you send me an email and tell me, hey, these are the types of movies I like, and then I'll craft another show for the three of you. <laughs> And I'll, I'll be put honest, more of those in there. You know what I'll I mean? be honest. I haven't seen like 50% of the movies you mentioned today. Mm. Oh, really? Never seen Gremlins, never seen Silent Hill, all those movies you mentioned. Uh, I haven't seen Silent Hill either. And you know why we haven't seen it, Brian? Is because we value our time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gremlins is great. Gremlins is. I'm saying Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that one's yeah. understandable. Yeah. Dude, I, I read the Wikipedia uh, to th and the, it makes no fucking sense. It makes no <laughs> And I played the game. I played yeah. the, silent, the very first one. I was like, this thing makes no fucking sense very whatsoever. Cerebral. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all over the place. But our thanks to, to you guys, gentlemen. Uh, please check out the uh, Wangers show on uh, YouTube, uh, Amateur Hour Films. Mm -hmm. uh, hit them up over there. Um, they have tons of guests. It's a lot of fun. And uh, you couldn't ask for three nicer guys to be on our second show. What do you think, Andy? Yeah, completely agree. Yeah, great job, guys. Thank you so much. Good job to Thank you, man. You. That was Good great. Good job, fun. Andy. All right, oh, Andy. Yeah. And now yeah. fantastic clues. Thank you. Contact all around, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Look, is that Andy the talent on this show? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> so I need the false praise to make me feel better about myself. That's all. <laughs> did, great, did, a, did a great job hosting. Thank you, yeah. Brian. <laughs> Christian, did you uh, have anything to say before we? Oh no, your contacts were amazing. The Gremlins one, it took a second, uh -huh. but I got there, and it was uh -huh. great. Yeah. That was the real music being displayed. It was just, uh, <laughs> the, note. the notes that Matt was uh, getting. Yeah, yeah. Line readings. The, I'm yeah. on TV. Like that's great. You know? yeah. Perfect, yeah. Guys. Yeah. Perfect. We wrap this show beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, yeah, check check out the Wangers. Uh, everything they do is great. They have the. You guys make your own uh, kind of uh, interesting, unique, uh, uh, artistic content. And you had the, the special quarantine podcast. Yeah. Um, that's what I appreciate appreciate about you guys is you're at least out there kind of pushing the bounds of what you can do artistically within the same world where everybody else is just a talking head spotting their opinion about a movie they had no hand in making. <laughs> uh, I know, it's ridiculous. Uh, but at least you're out there creating some form of art and... Uh, while I still hate you guys, I do retweet and try and help, uh, you know, support as best I Appreciate can. Appreciate that. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, well, we'd love to have you guys back on at some point if you're interested. But our thanks to you for for being a part of episode two this week. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you, man. This thank is so you. much fun. Appreciate you. Um, Andy, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, no, no. It was, well, I guess so if I just say no, no and then start a sentence. But yeah, um, great show. Really enjoyed it, guys. Um I was going to say to you, Matt, I don't know if you, you feel the same way, but the way I watch movies has completely changed. I stop halfway through a movie now, get over to the piano, learn it, add it to the list. So this this is definitely going to be a never-ending podcast. Uh, no, okay, well, good. Uh, that, that's fine. I do not do that. 
Oh, um, I write them down in my notes app, but I do not stop and break out my fictitious piano. Oh, you don't do that, right? Playing on keys that don't exist. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you, gentlemen, for uh, showing up today. Uh, make sure you guys, if you want any artwork done, go check out Luke Skinner. Um, that is just a free plug because we enjoyed working with him so much. And yeah. if you'd like to be a future guest on the show, retweet and like the tweet, and I will add your name to the list, and we will draw it random. And uh, that is it for Settle the Score Week 2. Gentlemen, thank you for making an excellent second show. Can't thank you enough. Enjoy the 109-degree heat in Los Angeles today. Uh, and that is it. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>